Rifco. The following video contains major spoilers for the first year of the Rising books, so stop here if you want to read them spoiler free. 700 years in the future, society has expanded across the entire solar system. It is arranged by genetically modified colors. Darrow is a red, the lowest color in a slave force of mine on Mars. His wife does a very bad thing, so they are publicly executed in front of their overlords. However, Darrow is secretly saved by his sons of Ares, a rebel group trying to overthrow the society. They do an act never done before. They turn Darrow into a gold, so he can internally undermine the system. Darrow enters an initiation, where he must survive in a mini game of thrones for a year to graduate into space school. He meets a bunch of pals, overthrows some castles, is betrayed, is reaccepted, and along the way he figures out they've been giving some cannibalistic sociopath, the jackal, an unfair advantage. So they get rather mad. They steal some boots from one of the proctors and fight up to the castle to kill them all. Four years later, Darrow joins the jackal's father for some reason and goes on some space adventures, fighting against his friend who betrayed him, Cassius. He goes to Luna, the moon, where they have a personal duel, only to have Cassius unfairly saved by a sovereign leader of the entire solar system. They fly planet to planet until they bump into what is basically a giant named Ragnar. After this, the gang plummets towards Mars at terrifying speeds in literal pods to blow up the jackal city, and then, uh-oh, Darrow is captured and exposed by the jackal. He kills his own father right after he reveals he's scared of robots. Not to mention Darrow's problem with staying leaves him after learning he's a red. Adria's happy, Darrow's sad, everyone's dead, and that's quite bad. Some months later, Darrow escapes prison and invades Phobos, where the gazillionaire Quicksilver resides, but it turns out he's on their side. Also, Mustang is back and is all good. Darrow and friends fly to one of Mars's poles, where they try to recruit superhuman obsidians, but encounter other genetically engineered monstrosities. An annoying proteon lady kills Ragnar, and the other obsidians don't join, so that's pretty great. They all fly to Io to convince the leader of the gas giants to join the cause, but he says no, until they learn the jackal is going to bomb the bloody moon. They team up and kill the jackal and the sovereign, and to celebrate by hanging out on Earth's beaches, where, ultra plot twist, Darrow learns he had a child. And then there's three more books. My love, my love, remember the cries when winter dies. <coughs>